Welcome back to another episode of Liquor Recoil, and as usual, it's a quick recap to remind us of what I happened last time. If you want to jump to the reaction, there's a timestamp below, but last episode was one of the saddest episodes so far, and that's not very sad because this show is just so bubbly and happy, right? Takina, sorry, Chisato got electrocuted by that pink lady girl sent by Shinji, and now apparently she has, what was it, like two months to live? A month to live? A couple months to live, right? We don't have much left, and it's not... I was gonna be super sad about it, but it's gonna be okay because everything's gonna be fine. There's no way that there's not like another artificial heart that's like in the making or has already been completed because at the end there is like a suitcase where Majima, when Majima is about to take out Shinji, right? In the middle of the road, there seems to be some kind of extra suitcase that alludes to maybe a new heart. I don't know, maybe I'm on some kind of copium, but there is no way that based on the tone of this show, just happy, bubbly, yuri moments between Takina and Chisato that Chisato's just gonna die and leaves Takina behind. That would be fucked up. If they did that, I'd be like, wow, you baited us for like nine episodes to just set up for like despair at the end? There's no way. This is just to make us feel a certain just way, just a little cleanse to feel some kind of stakes at hand, right? It's gonna be fine because Takina's gonna go back to the DA, I think, and there's one last special mission that's to basically go against the Majima, I think, and this is gonna be the, I guess, final arc of the remaining of remainder of the season which is going to probably have only like three episodes left right this is this like episode 10 or something i think so regarding the heart though the her heart was already bad i thought it was like an ex, it's an, uh, an incident behind the radio tower right where she basically was caught up in the explosion i thought she was on the verge of death and then shinji came to save her no that wasn't really the case her heart was already fucked right there was already a congenital dis a disease where she only had until her young adulthood to live i think so it's like if she was gonna hit 18 she would have died so they're like shinji's like all right let's give her another heart what's gonna be fine sorry i think that the her, her heart before might have had a shorter timeline but shinji gave her a surgery right got a new heart had until young adulthood and now shocked it can't recharge battery anymore only has like two or a couple months left it's like there's no way there's gonna be a way to bring it back and i think it's gonna rely on this mission the funniest part i've been joking about shinji x Ma uh, mika scenes right because i'm like it first kind of started off with a direct quote from the anime i think someone said i think um i forgot who maybe it was walnut i forgot who it was but she said do you think he really rolls that way in the bar when shinji and mika was meeting not really it wasn't really like that in the beginning and then there was a little bit of a slam on the elevator room scene i was like there's some tension there they're, they're, I mean, if they're intentionally showing that Shisato and Takina having Yuri moments, why not? Why wouldn't they just kind of tease us with like Mika and Shinji moments, right? And then I was like, all right, that's not enough for me to be convinced. Last episode, they're in a fucking like a love hotel, one room, one single king bed, and they're in bathrooms, and it looks like they just took a shower after fucking. So I'm like, are you fucking telling me they're a thing? And they even re uh, refer to Shisato as our daughter, right? I don't know if I'm reading too much into it, but I think there was like a lot of funny scenes from there. The rest of it was sucking sad. Chisato and Takina doesn't seem like they're gonna meet again. Takina kind of like took her out to a date and it, it looks like this is kind of farewell temporarily, but I'm kind of confused because Chisato was requested to go on this last mission against Majima by the director of the DA. She said, do it. Chisato was like, no, unless you take Takina in. And that was the, you know, that was the, basically, the, the, the contract, right? That was the promise that she gave. So Takina is in. Why wouldn't she have to also be in? I feel like she's going to be also be part of the mission. But again, the more she runs or more active she becomes, the less battery power she has in her heart. But it's going to be fine because we're going to find a way a miracle is going to happen at the end. It's going to be a happy ending, right? Something like that. Let's start this week's episode. Okay, okay. Track who down? Shinji? So who actually did the surgery? Because in the room, surgical masks were worn by Shinji and Mika. I'm like, are they the one performing the surgery? But it looks like Walnut's doing a little bit of research on who did this. Secret. <laughs> it's a it's a secret research to save you. Don't don't worry about it. But Shitatsu doesn't really seem to care. She's like, seem to have, like she's already fine with it. What? What? Why are you smiling about? Our, our little cafe is getting destroyed. What do you... But she's so happy about it. It's so... Odd that she always has this happy, cheerful mood when she talks about stuff like this. Even about her death. Like, she doesn't seem... Like, this is how everyone should be feeling. 
Mizuki's just like drinking away, just like this is so sad. Shitatsu just like seems like she's she's completely fine with it. She doesn't care. Vancouver? That's, that's kind of where I live. What the fuck? I feel like her smile, her talk, like Shitatsu was like smiley fun vibe. It might be just a facade of mask to kind of really hide her real feelings, or maybe she just feels fine with everything. I don't know. His hearing, isn't it, isn't it real talents? Because that we saw, he was actually blind during the radio tower incident, right? It's not, he, but he's like, he's taken an RPG hit. He didn't die. This guy's not gonna die. Majima, are you gonna save? What if Majima saves Chisato? What if Majima's like, no, I can't let her die. She's too fun to play with. She gotta have another heart. Yes, she she strayed from her path of killing. She needs to go back on the path of killing. She needs to kill more. <laughs> There's no way you would kill Shinji though. It's kind of crazy that uh, Shinji. Oh, she's tied up. It's kind of crazy how Shinji's in this situation because I feel like he's some kind of like elite, omnipotent being. That, like, look at the face he has right now. He seems so relaxed, right? Alan's ideals. Who is this Alan person? Yeah, and then Alan said, I'm not gonna tell you. What do you think? Where's the HQ? Uh, <laughs> Likoreko. Yeah, Likoreko is the. <laughs> I mean, what me? If you say that and you immediately go to Likoreko like that, I was joking, but there's no way. Man, this is kind of sad. Like, this is just a farewell on Chisatu and Takina part, Walnut's gone. It's like everybody's going away. She says it was such a happy face too. It's like, what if we meet? I don't know, man. Takina's gonna save her everything, right? She's gonna infiltrate Majima's base and find out the secrets, right? Yeah, they're just cute. <laughs> they're just cute high school girls that just kills everything. <laughs> it's so funny. The contrast is crazy. Uh, armbar. Beyond the prison cell, she's. Come on. No, this is all interrogation. Come on. We need to know the information. So it is Yoshimatsu then. Probably. <laughs> she dislocated his shoulder regardless. Gave him all the gave her all the answers. Like, ah, I'm just gonna take it off though. But she's gonna go do it, right? We can't see her face right now. She's probably she's actually saying, tell Mika that you're sad. Come on. I want to see how you're really feeling, because you're always just smiling and just hiding your true feelings, but... Beyond that smile, there's gotta be some kind of pain and sadness that everyone else is feeling, right? She's the leader. I don't think he's gonna die, though. Because I feel like... The DA isn't completely, um... Innocent either. Like, everybody's kind of fucked because they constantly change the narrative even though they're, they're the one combating terrorists and law enforcement exactly, exactly what Majima is saying right now I don't know who's the real villains here no they are the law that means they can manipulate the narrative of the media of any attack and make it seem like the curse doesn't exist and every attack is a, an accident right this is what they seem to be doing, nurturing the peace and moral of the nation. But beyond that, I think there's a little bit more sinister outlook on the DA that not a lot of people might think about. Majima's obviously not good either, but he's trying to expose like the hypocrisy, you know, of the DA, right? So, 10 years ago. Yes, I think Chisato will show up, but this time Takina is going to be the folk. Wait, wait, she's going to say something. Hey! Where's the other heart? Yes. The captain is saying, Okay, Takina, go keep talking. She's letting her talk. Okay. I feel like this is kind of confidential material, but okay. Only interest is that Chisato, right? Oh no, stop coughing! Okay, okay, okay. I thought she was like dying or something, but it was a dust. What? It's just clothing. For her? Sunday clothes. Coming up age ceremony. Oh, Mika. I, I bet that's gonna look so good on here too. Oh. You know, there's always gotta be scenes of, you know, really just like Chisato and Takana just in cute outfits, but. Yeah, but you don't have to die! No! 
Mika. Mika, are you gonna tell us how you're really feeling? That's the most emotional I've seen Mika. Well, other than when he's talking with, because sh usually the Chisato, she never, he never talks to her like that. But Majima's gonna show up. But like, I f is it actually gonna be him? We saw it, like a robe. <laughs> Next, it's gonna keep going up. Bye. <laughs> just that. It's not just profiting as a commander. There has to be more than that, right? It was to save her too, right? As long as she's an active worker, it's. Mm, that she'll go back. That she would kill again. The strongest hitman. Yeah, we knew that. What that's what he wanted. But she just, in fact, just turned into the opposite of that. <laughs> that's not what he meant, though. Whoa. I, you know, she's not, she's not smiling anymore. I wonder how she's actually going to feel now that she knows that Mika and Shinji's not alive. They actually are alive. That's how you lived your life with Mr. But I want you to live, Chizato! No, Mika! Mika! No, I don't blame you at all, Mika. Okay. Both are down. They had Shinji and Mika in the picture. Our daughter. Damn, Mika just had this entire thing held up, bottled up the entire time. He's actually saying his true feelings. You look great. Ah, uh, you look great, but I want to know how you're feeling, though. She's not that you're just always smiling, and I feel like you're just hiding some kind of, like, true sadness. Uh, or maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe she's just fine with everything. Four. Three. Two. Boom! Roboto or Majima? Who's gonna show up? Probably Majima. Hello. Is he about to reveal like the secrets of who the licorice is? Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's... <laughs> it is not a peaceful time at all. People are constantly dying. There's acts of terror all the time, but they're just accidents, right? Imagine about to tell him, Wake up! Wake up, sheeple! It's time to open your minds! I'm gonna blow this tower up. The fuck? Oh, that was kind of cool. He shot at the sky, but it looked like there's like a window right there. The guns were for this. Huh? Bring the existence to look basically trying to expose that the DA exists. But everyone's like, huh? Holy oh, shit! There's guns that this is crazy! It's not a toy! No 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 no! What's it? Who? There's guns everywhere! Relax! Re whoa, 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 what did you Did he just How did that even how did that accident even happen? He just kinda lost bounce and shot his head. Hello? Uh, uh, no, she's gonna act. And kill Majima. Kill Shinji! What we knew. Roboto's voice. One hour! The span of one hour could last like three episodes in anime though. Both sides are com Roboto's contacting, you know, the DA command was saying with no, 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 you got the phone too close to the phone. <laughs> mm -hmm. We gotta save Shinji, but it is a trap, but we can't do anything. Yeah, we, I mean, sorry, we can't just not do anything. You still have to save him. And he probably has another method to save Chisato, so it's gotta happen. It's gotta happen. A couple of episodes ago, right? The, we say they're armored, but she only needs a pistol. Oh, well, well, I guess the rest of the guns is for Konamika. All right, we're suited up though. One last time, we're gonna go in and beat everybody, and we're gonna have a happy ending, right? No post-credit scene, and that's the ending. Man, 
This episode, it, I feel like there's a little bit of hope. It's, the previous episode was sad as fuck, even though it was pretty happy still. Because like Takina and Shisato were saying their goodbyes, everybody, it seemed like she was given a specific timeline to die. And that hasn't been resolved yet, right? Because we still don't know if there's a solution to that. However, it does seem like, it does seem like there is a path to her survival after this based off of just the post credit scene from the previous episode? No. I just feel like this type of shit wouldn't just kill Shisato off like this, right? It's really... So now we kind of understand, like, Majima's true intent. I, I thought it was going to be Radio Tower again where he blows it up again just as a new one went up. Kind of, maybe that will still play a portion to the story, but she's got all the gun, right? The gun hoarding. That was a plotline really early into the episode, the gun steal that actually Takina was kind of involved in, I think. And that's where she started to <laughs> bust people off the machine gun. <laughs> <laughs> to basically end everything, but there's guns to everybody. He's saying, hey, you guys, guys, you guys need to wake up. You think you Japanese people, you think every there's peaceful times right now? No, there is a secret ori of a highly armed <laughs> group of <laughs> high school cute girls <laughs> where they just like co cover up all the incidents, which is like a, a good thing at the end, but they're saying there's a, there you need to seek the truth beyond that. And how are you going to do that? Well, I place a lot of guns and all across the cities. Just grab them and just go wild. It's like, ah. Uh, I mean, I guess some people that are pent up in society will start fucking things up, I guess. Like, uh, the scene here, really? How did this guy, how, this dude actually was on the bench, held up a gun, was like, hey, police, don't move. And he was like, oh, oops. Like, what? But that's just to show that when the guns are in the common hands of the public, things can go wrong and more incidents like that will happen. How are they going to contain all the guns from being shot? Maybe the masses will kind of come together and decide that, hey, just leave the weapons alone, right? We know the existence of, um, of the DA and the licorice is like a thing, but for the sake of our greater peace, we'll come together and, you know, resist your urges to go mad. I'm sure there'll be some individuals that do that. I don't know. This is like, a, I never thought that this gun plot would be like brought back. I thought it would be as simple as, oh, Majima just wants to blow up the tower again so that the public can see it. And this is an incident that the licorice can't possibly cover up because every every time Majima did an act of terrorism, he just kind of had all his credits just be wasted due to an accident. And I thought that's why he was pissed off. But at the end of the day, Chisato is going to get dispatched again. And this time, this time, we're going to save everybody. Here's my prediction. We're going to save everybody. Everything's going to have a happy end. And Chisato, at the end, it's going to be, she's, her heart's going to fizz out. Takina's going to save her, but at the end, the villains or whatever is done with. But Shinji also realizes something in, during when we rescue her and be like, actually, we have a second heart here. We'll just do another surgery. And this one, it'll last forever because the previous heart, they did mention it was like a prototype and we have, you know, uh, there, there could have been a better iteration after that, right? I've got my fingers crossed, but there's no way a happy enemy like this is gonna have a sad ending. But anyways, if you stick around this long, if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm gonna say. Check out the other videos and playlists to my channel. If you're watching the video immediately after this one, it helps YouTube algorithm push out my small channel to recommend so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.